As pastors, I know that every one of us has a similar passion. We want to see the people in our congregations grow in love with God, surrender their hearts to Jesus Christ, and be led by the Holy Spirit. We want to see them absolutely surrendered to the work of the kingdom of God in their lives, their homes, in every part of who they are. But one of the dilemmas is that in church culture today, there's this effort to be radical for God, and Christians are going off and doing things that aren't prayed through, aren't thought through, and maybe aren't even for God. They're trying to be bold and radical, but they're doing things that might be very costly in a way that God doesn't want them to pay a price. In reckless faith, you will help your congregation learn how to take bold chances for God, but to do it prayerfully, patiently, and with perspective that's both biblical and drawn on the wisdom of God's people around them. If you want to see your congregation grow to be bold and reckless in generosity, in service, in prayer, in their relationships, connecting with non-believers and reaching out, in the words that they speak, in many areas of their life, this church-wide experience will help you get there and move your people in a way that is very honoring to God and will stretch their faith. We've developed all kinds of resources to help you on this church-wide experience. Your people will be able to, on a personal level, read the book Reckless Faith and be challenged in their faith, but also have daily scripture readings that go with each chapter and prepare them for each Sunday sermon. Second, we've provided great preaching resources for you, free on the website, where you can go on there and learn about those resources and get tools to prepare your sermons and have a church-wide learning experience with the whole body. And then third, we have small group resources. There are small group questions for you that are provided in the book for free. And there's also a small group DVD that you can learn about on the website. When you put all these things together, what you get to have is an experience as a congregation in a personal level, full congregational level, and in small groups that will lead your congregation to a place of reckless, bold, God-honoring faith in every area of their lives. My hope and prayer for you is that you can lead your congregation to a place of this kind of commitment to Jesus Christ in a way that's honoring to Him and a blessing for them.